Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's now time for a little bit of history and I'm going back to the year 2012 to talk about uh, the fifth, I believe, president of Egypt, Mohamed Morsi. It was on this day that he became president. But just a little bit of uh, history. Eventually, he died in 2019. He was born on the 8th of August in 1951, died on the 17th of June in, in uh, 2019. He was an Egyptian politician and engineer who served as the fifth president from the 30th of June 2012, right after the Arab Spring that... Uh, um, uh, deposed former Egyptian president Hosni Mubarak. Um, he eventually took over as president um, on the uh, 30th of June in 2012 and was kicked out in 2013 on the 3rd of July when General Abdel Fattah El Sisi removed him from office in a coup d'etat after protest. Um, he was an Islamist affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood and it's one of the things that he was uh, also charged with um, in a very, very long uh, trial before he eventually passed on during the trial. He led the Freedom and Justice Party from 2011 to 2012. As president, he issued a temporary constitutional declaration in November 2012, and uh, that in effect granted him unlimited powers and the power to legislate without judicial oversight or any review of his acts. June 2013, protests calling for Morse's resignation erupted. The military, backed by political opposition and leading uh, religious figures, stepped in and uh, deposed Morsi in a coup. It suspended constitution and appointed Adli Mansour as interim president back then in 2013. The pro morsi demonstrations were crushed, resulting in over 800 deaths. Um, eventually, of course, he was sentenced to death, but the death sentence was overturned in 2016 and a retrial was ordered. He then passed on on the 17th of June, like I said earlier, in 2019. But it was on this day that he was um, uh, he became rather president of Egypt. Um, it was a very, very sad uh, turn of events uh, you know, after he became president, after Hosni Mubarak was uh, kicked out in the Arab Spring. Um, and, you know, people call it very hypocritical because, you know, some of the things that they had accused Hosni Mubarak of, you know, was, were some of the things that he eventually, you know, wanted to start doing. And, of course, the controversy, the... Um, I think we'll call it controversy concerning the Muslim Brotherhood and his affiliations with the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, and, uh, the Hamas and Hezbollah and some of all those other groups um, also criticized them and had their challenges with their alliances, um, with well, basically their alliances and their ideologies. But, you know, he eventually uh, passed on. Hmm. Embarrassing, actually, you know, when he was sent to, uh, when, uh, during his uh, uh, trial period, when he always used to appear in a, a cage in court embarrassing from a president to a cage. Mm. He was 61 years old when he um, became president, Mohamed Morsi. Um, he received a personal phone call from, me, <clears throat> from the United States President Barack Obama congratulating him. People celebrated. He was the first Islamic, um, you know, democratically elected president of Egypt. So it was lots of celebrations, but things took a nosedive when, you know, there, were, there began to be um, anti-government protest, you know, mm. all the issues in the country. And then in just about a year, you know, he, he basically was, was toppled from power. Um, short story about Mohamed Morsi there. But that's what happened today in history. June 30th, um, 2012, he became the president of that country. Um, let's take a break here and we'll return for our first major conversation. Do stay with us.